guys, what's up? This is Manuel. I'm <laughs> Fuck you, I guess that's Isaac or El Che. This is going to be uh, his new album coming up called The Great Conjunction. Great Conjunction. It's going to be pretty chill. I'm in it on a song called Climates. For like 20 seconds? For like about two minutes, asshole. <laughs> Uh, it's actually going to be a pretty good album with lots of knowledge. He uh, pretty much thought, of, thought out about each song for about like two seconds. No, nah, just kidding. It's a great thought out album. Don't buy the CD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you said you're going to buy the CD, stick to your word and buy it. Help out your local Support hip-hop. underground starving artists. <laughs> yeah, support your local underground starving artists. So, you know, you know what to do. Like I said, I'm Manuel. Here's El Che. For sure. Um, we're going to have some, we're going to, we get some physical copies out. We're going to have house shows, and of course, it's going to have Manuel. And I mean, uh, it's like we're going to try to throw up some other local artists on it too, like the sexual intellectual, maybe if he can make it, which he said he would. So I mean, it's like we're going to see and see if like maybe this could all be understood. So I mean, it's like hopefully you interpret it right as we ignite with the mic and try to keep it all right and try to keep it good inside that's positive, staying above the negative. Everyone comes up with these rhymes that are kind of like illegitimate, like can, man, and plan. However, I just did it like, what do you say? I forgot what you said. Exactly what was it that wound up like being like a tool hanging from the shed? I wound up dead. However, I was on the side of my bed. Wait, I didn't even wake up on the side of my bed or the wrong side. However, I try to prescribe everything to help me feel like I'm actually alive. As I walk through a hall and try to appall people that try to come up to me and say, hey, you shouldn't be treated equal because your music is just kind of like something that makes me lose it in like an illegitimate manner. After that, then I place up a banner that says, why don't you try to understand something that is not played on the radio because it's not going to get you anywhere. And after that, then you try to say, I don't necessarily care because the stuff that you spit on the mic, it's a little bit tasteful, untasteful, and a little bit obscene. I try to alliterate what my, like what I mean on a piece of paper. However, you try to say, you're a hater. You don't actually know what you're talking about. I try to figure my way out and then found myself in a snout of a crocodile as I walk the Isle of Nibiru, the 10th planet, and then run rampant through the galaxy. And then you see me in a pile of feces 20 years later. And then I emerge up as a carrot. And then all of a sudden I was in a vegetable garden and saw a ferret. And I looked at him and said, excuse me, sir, I think you lost your way. And he said, no, sir. Um, I got kind of like the blur. I looked at you, noticed you were a carrot, and I know you're the cure. I looked over at the other vegetables, and they said, eat him. And I say, I concur. So then I was like, yeah, for sure. And then I was like, people call me kind of like a scientist. However, me and experiments don't necessarily comply. Like earlier, I took a crap in the bathroom and wiped with only one ply. This is the last try. There's no more videos after this. So once we try to reminisce, there's not really going to be anything. So whatever you have in your mind, just put it on a wish list and hope that God answers it or whatever spiritual hierarchy you believe in. After that, then you're going to see me in oblivious preview. Then you try to ask for a redo once you realize that you've messed up on the MIC. I don't necessarily go to a university, but I go to a community college, try to attain knowledge. While I'm in class, I try to think of things that are going to help me surpass. Exactly why hasn't the time fly by, flown by? It's kind of uneducated when you don't comply, when you use too many bad words and slur, too many effects with the video, after that then I'm saying, I don't want to be played on the radio, because see, since I was three, I was in Washington DC crawling around on all fours listening to whack MCs like Jay-Z, and then now, I'm wondering why nobody plays me. I think it's just because I talk about things that people don't want to hear, things that people kind of fear, things that people don't want to listen to. Is it just because you don't understand, or is it just because the master plan of my left and right, right and left hand cannot coexist? However, I call you a precipice or a pessimist when you say, I don't want to buy your CD. And I'm like, exactly why? Why can't you comply with me? Why can't you see things with the bare naked eye as a reptilian shall metamorphosize in front of your eyes? Exactly why is it that you cannot comply? Are you going to be like a candle that burns out with the first breeze? Or are you going to be the person that gets up off their knees and actually doesn't comply with everything that is being told? I say these things and you say, hey dude, they're kind of getting old. I say they're kind of bold. Do what you're told, but do what you know. Whatever feels good to you, whatever you feel is the right thing to do. 
Why don't you understand that there's no such thing as a redo, we only get one chance in this lifetime because there's a next. After that, then people try to perplex and vex you, however, you're not going to understand. So this is E-L-C-H-E, -E, Walk in the Burning Sands. Oh, E-L-C-H-3-F-L. So buy, buy the CD, get, get the Great the Conjunction, the Great Conjunction. Great conjunction. conjunction, Junction, Know Your Function, whatever it is, whatever that commercial is. I don't know what it is, but just buy the CD, please. Peace.